let's look at a grid based placement. Guys, I know in the past, some of you guys have complained about the the occasional complaint about the resolution. So the question here, do you guys prefer uh, this 16 by 9? And if so, would you still want zoom-ins to see things clearer or are things easier to see for you this way? Or do you prefer uh, the way that the videos have been? In the past or do you just not care of course that's always an option as well but that's the question I'd like to ask for this video so with this let's go ahead and jump in um, all of this is pretty well going to be in code in the scene I just have my uh, node 2d for my main node I have a tile map which is just using the base tile from the RTS series and a sprite 2d that's just acting as my blueprint to show where I'm placing things All right so in my main node I do have two export variables one for the blueprint so I've just brought that in in the inspector and same with the tile map and we know previously that what we would do is we would just go ahead and we would get in this case uh, BP equals mouse or is it get mouse there it is global position and then when we, when we run that of course it's just with us the entire time and then we would go ahead we'd left click and we'd place our objects or buildings whatever it is but if you wanted a grid system of course we need to be able to get the tile map and work off of uh, the position of each tile and then of course only move when our mouse is on is overlaying a different tile completely so to do this the first thing we would need to do is let's get the tile that our mouse is on so let's go ahead and create our variable we'll just call this a mouse tile and that's going to be equal to our get viewport and we're going to get mouse position so we're going to get our mouse's position on our screen and we'll use that for knowing exactly what tile we're over uh, within the tile map itself so as far as we're concerned this is the tile the mouse is on we're going to get the map position Oops, not plus. I'm just going to call it map underscore pause. And this is going to be our tile map dot local. Oops, local, not local. Local to map. And we can pass in that mouse tile. And that will give us our position on our tile map. And believe it or not, we're almost done. We just gotta do one more. We just have to now take the position on our tile map and convert it back into a position on our screen. So I'm just gonna call this this a variable CO. You can really call this wherever you want. This is basically gonna be your cells position that we're gonna use uh, for placing our blueprint. So CO is going to equal to tile map. My hand is a little off there. There we go. Tile map dot map to local. So keep in mind the first one is local to map and this one is map to local. So in the first one we're taking a local coordinate and we're converting that into a position on the map and now we'll, with that we've gotten the what cell we're on in that tile and inside of that tile map so now we're going to take that position of that cell and we're going to convert that back into a local position for us to use using map to local 
So map to local, we'll pass in that map. Pause. All right. And so now in this case, I do have a node 2D that this script is on. Um, so I uh, could theoretically go ahead and use uh, something like to uh, global. But in some cases, there are, depending on where your script is, you may not have it. So if you don't have access to that, you can go ahead and just create a new one, right? So var node 2d uh, dot new, uh, if you need it. And then we can just take our blueprints position. So bp dot position is equal to our node. So either the one we created or ourself, if that's what it's on. Um, dot two global. So now we're taking that local position that is stored within CO and we're going to convert that into a global position that we're going to use for our blueprint. So again, we're going to go over, we're going to get the position of our mouse to know what tile our mouse is hovering over based on that position. We'll convert that local coordinate into the into the map position to tell us the cell it's on. And then we're going to take that position within our map and convert that into a local coordinate for us to use. And then we'll convert that into a global to use within our game as a whole instead of using a local coordinate. And the result that we're gonna get from that, of course, oops. Of course, if you didn't notice, I am running my check cell function here that we just wrote inside of my process function. And as you see, as soon as my mouse crosses over to a new cell, we get snapped into another cell. So now we can do this grid-based placement so if you're really stick, uh, real stickler or OCD for everything being lined up perfectly, a grid placement like this might be more suited for you. All right. So I just want to go ahead and throw that out there because I realized that I don't think I actually have a grid placement on the channel. I thought I did, but if I did, I can't find it. So here's one. It's nice. It's simple. It's only a couple lines of code and really all we're doing is getting is converting our, our mouse position into a usable position uh, within our map. So there you go. That's it for this one. Take care. Have yourself a good one and uh, see you guys next time. Oh, and remember, um, let me know in the comments if you prefer this 16 by 9 style if you strongly prefer it over the way that the videos have been in the past with with the zooms and 21 by 9 um, that i normally do 